Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. When we last left off, we were talking to these four guys, and they basically want a pizza, but they want different toppings on their pizza, and they are also all colorblind in some way. And uh, I was going to explain the, the puzzle in the last video, but I think what I'm going to do is I'll explain it in this one, because... I ran out of time last time and I wanted to give it a proper explanation. But before I do that, let's um let's talk to these guys one more time. Oh nice! You're back! Struggle jug! Too bad. Starving to death would have been <laughs> such a relief. <laughs> Come hither. Do tell us of thy progress. <sighs> Thine progress is not hasty. Okay. So Let's first talk to them about their color blindness, just so that they can uh, we can get up to speed on which one has which color, kind of color blindness, because they each have a different type. All right. Um. Drogle jug. Don't drog him. You have to forgive him. He's color blind, as we all are. Peter mixes up his reds and his greens. Adrian mixes up his reds and his yellows. Drogi mixes up his greens and his blues. And I mixed up my yellows and my greens! Funny, isn't it? Hilarious. Okay, so now we know that Peter mixes up his reds and his greens. Petra mixes up her yellows and greens. Draghi mixes up his greens and his blues. And Adrian mixes up his reds and yellows. So he, uh, Peter is red-green colorblind. Petra is yellow-green. Draghi is uh, green-blue. And... Adrian is red and yellow. Now let's talk to them about the pizza. Lily didn't want to start another argument. Fortunately, she had remembered everything. Adrian wanted tomatoes, but no blueberries. Petra liked broccoli, but no tomatoes. Druggle Jug wanted banana, but not broccoli. And Peter wanted blueberries, but not banana. This was going to be tough. All right, so now we know that Peter wants blueberries, Petra wants broccoli, uh, Draghi wants um, bananas, and Adrian wants tomatoes. And uh, as you can kind of see, so we have the color, the different colors that they want. So blueberries are blue, broccoli is green, bananas are yellow, and tomatoes are red. So in order to satisfy all of what they want on their pizza we have to somehow make sure that all four of those ingredients get on that pizza but as you can imagine if one person sees red tomatoes if um, Petra or if one sees uh, I guess it doesn't matter anyway so, so if, you, if they see red tomatoes on their pizza that person that can see that tomato as red won't want it on the pizza and they'll complain about it and so for with all the other ingredients. So we have to basically somehow make sure that everybody gets their ingredients, but that it doesn't, that they can't basically see the color of that ingredient. So, uh, we'll get there. <laughs> we will get there. But anyway, that's all you really can do now, because all I'll talk about is the, me not getting the pizza. So let's head back to the hallway. And let's head to the uh, maintenance room now. <clears throat> and we already opened the refrigerator because we have all of those ingredients. We actually already have the ingredients for the uh, pizza, and I probably should open this up. This would have been a lot easier to see what I was talking about. So th these are the ingredients that they want. But anyway, what's done is done. Okay, so we have this can opener here, and I kind of jumped the gun a little bit before when I was saying that you should use one of these objects basically to use this can opener to make a new punch card. But we can't use the can opener because it's a sharp object, so we just have to undo the sharp object. Lift that restriction. And all we have is this credit card, uh, the silk scarf, and a pizza and nothing really. The only thing that really would work is this credit card. So let's go ahead and put that into the can opener. <laughs> Dr. Marcel would surely be pleased. 
With the help of his credit card, Lily made some confetti. Lovely. I'm sure he'll love that. Alright, so now we have a credit punch card. Alright, so now... Uh, we can go through here to get back down to where we need to go. But first, let's go to uh, Mr. Frock from a few episodes ago. Because now we have a feather duster for him, because he was looking for that. So let's give him his feather duster. I'm sure he will enjoy that. What do you have there? A feather duster? Not that I would want to have a feather duster. Oh, no. No matter how pretty they look. Which doesn't mean that I can't hold it for a second. Sure. Just... One little second? That would be completely harmless. Don't you think? Absolutely. Give it to me now! <laughs> ah, what a relief. And just look, I even found my old spare sheets. Here, go ahead and take it. You, you've earned it. Okay, so now he has uh, a white sheet for some reason. Okay, now we can go back down and we have two more furnaces to get to, so let's uh, use our credit card and I'm going to assume it's this one right here, but we'll see. Yep. Let's go to the roof where the bee man was. And let's uh, take a look at him now. Lily had never seen such an unhappy man in a bee costume before. But she also hadn't really traveled much. Okay, let's uh, talk to him. Hello, stranger. Before you say anything, please take a deep breath. <gasps> and is that what freedom smells like? Or is it just regular air consisting of oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, soot from the asylum's <laughs> new chimney, and a touch of diesel oil from the garage? <sighs> I don't want to seem melodramatic, but I'm somewhat skeptical about this so-called freedom. Ever since Dr. Marcel started neglecting his duties as head of this asylum, it's us, the patients, that carry the burden of creating our own boundaries. And before I'm able to measure up to this freedom, I do have to ask myself a few things. Maybe there are such things as good boundaries. And even in an ideal case, can I really decide where my own freedom starts and stops? It so happens that no one is preventing me from leaving the asylum. Does that mean I'm free? Can I just fly away, spread my wings, and leap from the asylum roof? The urge is there. Just like any bee, I long to buzz across fields of flowers <laughs> collecting honey. But I'm still fighting it. Something about this freedom stinks. Huh. Interesting choice of words. So maybe... Let's lift a fire ban. Because if he thinks freedom stinks, we can give him the scented candle to make freedom smell nice. Mmm, that smells good. But even if the illusion is almost perfect, it's only artificial flavors and chemical esters. An almost perfect illusion, but not real. Like with everything here in the asylum, it's only a half-hearted attempt to trick us into thinking that we're free. And now <laughs> that no one is stopping us from leaving the asylum, it provides us with a welcome excuse to refuse to leave. Right you are, stranger. I'm just running away from my responsibilities. The responsibility to myself to accept the deal that the world out there has offered me. I thank you. You're welcome. I've made up my mind. I can't just sit around here doing nothing anymore. I should buzz across fields of flowers and collect honey. Toodaloo, asylum. Hey ho, freedom. And Whee! Lily was glad that she had helped the bee man. Soon he would be in a better place. <laughs> yes, he will. 
flying across the fields and collecting honey as any bee man should. And now we have a yellow scarf here to take a look at. Wherever the man in the bee costume was now, he apparently didn't need a scarf. Okay, well, let's take it then. He doesn't need it. We can certainly use it, I'm sure. Looks like we have over here a lantern. Moths fluttered around the dim light of the lamp. They were apparently searching for food. Okay. Well, we might need... Let's see, if they're searching for food... So, uh, let's see. Do we have anything for them? Well, moths like to eat through clothing. So let's use the silk scarf on the moths. Nothing. Okay. Maybe we have to put a little uh, starch on there to make it a little more appealing. Lily knew that you could use starch to stiffen up laundry, but as long as she didn't have a goal in mind, she preferred her laundry sock. She had had enough of starch laundry in the convent. Okay. Let's see here. Um. Lily had often wished to go to the zoo to feed the animals. Meep. It was huh. even more beautiful than she had imagined. <laughs> Okay, so now we have a scarf full of holes. So now we should use the bottle of starch on the scarf to make basically our last punch card. Lily knew that you could use starch to stiffen up laundry. It wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. Well, who said it? Now Lily had a stiff towel with holes. Yes, now we have our last punch card. So let's go ahead and use that on the card slot. And I'm it's amazing how each of the things that I've done, the punch card holes are exactly the right configuration for each one. It's amazing. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so let's go up to the surveillance room. Okay, and we looks like we got a uh, calendar up there with a interesting looking woman. Um, that's about it, really. Looks like all we have is a viewing window, and that's it. Let's take a look through the viewing window. Um, yikes! What are you doing here? Are you actually dead? Uh -uh. Too bad. I could use a little entertainment, but the doctor told me not to talk to other people. At least not living ones. Sorry. But I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Okay. Can we talk? You shouldn't be here. I'm not allowed to talk to people. At least not living ones. Okay, well, there's nothing else we can really do here. Can we uh, go back out to the hallway through the door? Alright. So I guess all that's left to do... is... well, not all that's left to do. There's lots left to do, but... <laughs> Marania won't talk to us unless uh, we're dead, or she thinks we're dead. And we have this uh, sheet here. And we have this uh, knitting needle. And uh, as we know, we can. Um, a popular Halloween costume is just to poke a couple holes into um, a sheet and then pretend you're a ghost. So, let's see here. Can we use the needle on the white sheet? I don't think that'll be enough to make a hole in the. or two holes in the sheet, but we'll try it. I forgot but to look see. Lily, what are you? Don't you were You must not just don't see your right. We'll skip all that because that's the same that we've heard all around. And interesting that there was that Harvey Bunny right there, but then there's this Harvey Bunny right here. Hmm. All right, now well, let's try it. Perhaps Mother Superior had been right. 
to throw Lily out of home ec class. Lily just didn't know how to use needles properly. Okay, so yeah, that was that's not gonna be enough. The only other sharp object we have close by, or at least at our disposal, is uh, the can opener. And maybe that will be sufficient to make some holes in this sheet. Oh dear, Lily really had managed to ruin the sheet. But perhaps a sheet with two eye holes could be good for something. Oh, I'm sure it could. Okay, so now we have this uh, ghost costume. Let's, let's go into the surveillance room. And then use the ghost costume on the uh, window here. Yikes! A ghost! How sweet! Finally someone to talk to. You have to Whoa. help me. <laughs> Dr. Marcel is wrongfully keeping me here in the asylum. Isn't there anything that you and your ghost buddies can do about it? Curse him? Deprive him of his sleep? Drag him into the seventh circle of hell and torture him for all eternity with red-hot needles? Oh, come on. I've done so much for you. I've performed obscure rituals, sacrificed chickens, danced naked. Although when I think about it, I'm not sure if it was really a ghost that asked me to do that. Ugh. Terrible. I don't feel so well. Could you please take off your head while we're talking? Ooh, ooh. Oh man, you're not very talkative. Can't you help me at all? Huh, how can we help Marania? Yeah, we can help her. Uh-huh, great. Look at this. The doctor is forcing me to knit these stuffed rabbits. No idea what he needs them for, but I'm not very good at it. <sighs> Maybe you could lend me a hand. Wait, I'll push some of the fabric through the hatch. Okay, so now I have some blue fabric. Let's take a look at it. The rabbit was probably too young to talk. Okay, let's take it. All right, and now we have some blue fabrics. And so now we actually have all the colors we need. We have red, green, yellow, and blue. Okay. So now we know that there are more than one Harvey doll, and so we don't know exactly why Dr. Marcel wants all of these Harvey dolls, but it must be for some reason, obviously, maybe to uh, hypnotize more than just Lily. Alright, so I think I'm going to call it a video here, now it seems to be a good time to stop. Uh, next time we will continue uh, trying to make that pizza for the role-playing guys and uh, see what other adventures Lily will get herself into. So I'll see you next time on Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. Until then.